Alright guys, welcome to Double D's RC's. Uh, I haven't posted in a while just because it's extremely cold out and lots of snow. But it's starting to get a little bit warmer so we're going to post some, some uh, videos again. Uh, in the meantime I did uh, switch the transmission out on my two wheel drive Traxxas uh, Slash. Uh, and then I'm going to rebuild the one I took out of there. Uh, a lot of people ask about gearing, different gearing ratios and things like that. I'm uh, definitely not an expert, but I have switched around quite a few things uh, just to see different um, outcomes. And so we're going to explain a little bit of that. So stock this truck, I have no idea what it came with. I bought it used, um, but what I normally run in there in the summertime uh, on my track out back, which is a lot of on and off throttle. So it's a lot of uh, almost full throttle to uh, brake, you know, throttle, to jump, to brake, so it's a lot of on-off stuff. So I started off with a pretty low gear as far as pinion. Uh, I was running a, I want to say a 13 tooth pinion, and I had a 90 tooth spur uh, gear in this one, and it ran fine, but I wanted a little bit more power, um, more torque, I guess. And I've always run 2S on this one. Uh, I don't really have a use for 3S yet as far as batteries. Uh, just based on where I drive it and what I do with my truck. So this is all 2S um, stuff here. I eventually switched over to a 17 tooth pinion. And kept the 90 tooth spur. And uh, I liked the way that was working in the summertime. It was fine. All my temperatures were good on the um, ESC and the motor. So I, I still wanted a little bit more torque, which is pretty much what everybody wants, right? You can't just let it be. you gotta got to make it a little bit faster, a little bit better, whatever. So I bumped it up to a 19-tooth pinion. Uh, temperature still stayed cool. I mean, the motor gets hot, but it's not uh, over hot, you know, so it still runs fine computer stayed pretty damn good uh, even during 80 85 degree days in the summer so being bored in the uh, winter time and just nothing better to do um, I did try and screw around with the gears a little bit so I dropped the pinion down to a 83 and I bumped the pinion up to a 23 and then I drove it on a 2s battery uh, it's an old battery. It's only got a 50C uh, rating on it for discharge. And the tires were extremely shit. They were bald. Um, so the results I got were about 33 miles an hour, which is definitely not impressive if you're going for a speed run. Uh, I'm just, was just pure curiosity here. I'm not trying to break any records and I don't really give uh, that much of a shit. It's just a basher truck, but I do like to learn things. And I like to see how things uh, go and how they work. So today I'm going to um, switch it back to the setting which I like a lot, uh, which is 19 um, and 90. 19 pinion and 90 tooth spur. Uh, on this particular model everything's uh, 48 pitch gears. So what you're going to want to do is there's a screw on the bottom here. And then this screw here. And that takes off this uh, gear cover here. Okay, once you get your cover off, um, all you're going to want to do is loosen this nut here all the way off. Take it all the way off. The spring's going to come off. And then this whole uh, spur gear will come off with a clutch plate and um, like your slipper clutch discs. Once you get the nut and the spring off, you can take this whole assembly off, okay. This is a, a disc up here. You want to make sure it stays in place. If it comes off, just put it back on. It doesn't screw on or anything. Now I'm going to take these three screws completely out. Okay, after you get your um, spur gear changed over and tighten up these three screws here, you put your um, spring back on then your nut. What I do is I tighten it all the way down until it bottoms out and then I back it out a, a quarter turn. I've gone out as far as like 
three quarters of a turn and I've also locked it all the way down tight. Um, when it was locked down tight and I drove it, it definitely wanted to do, uh, to do a lot of wheelies, but it also likes to break, uh, break drive shafts. Um, three quarters of a turn out is too far. Uh, I've come to uh, a common medium kind of, I guess, as about a quarter turn out. Uh, it seems to not uh, produce any excessive wear and I get uh, a fair amount of power to the back wheels. So it seems to do, do pretty well, about a quarter turn out. Okay, when you're um, done putting everything together, a very important thing is, is how the gears are meshed together. Take your time doing this, all right? You don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. You want it right where you get the most contact, you know, in between the gears where they've got enough to grab each other, but not um, too tight, not too loose. I mean, these parts are pretty cheap here. But it's just frustrating when you burn them up um, prematurely. So these were the tires I ran the other day um, out on my street, which is asphalt. And it was about 15 degrees out. Uh, and that's when I got about 33 miles an hour off of the setup I had at the time, which was an 83 tooth uh, spur and 23 tooth pinion. Um, today I'm going to put some different tires on there. And I'm going to run it again. I left the 23 tooth uh, pinion in there just for shits and grins. I want to see what it'll do um, with a 90 tooth spur. And then uh, after that, for everyday use, I'm going to drop a, drop it down to a 19 tooth pinion. We'll see what happens. All right, this is the uh, setup I'm going to run. I found some Proline um, Street Fighters laying around. And I'm going to pop those guys on, see how it goes. I'm going to do a uh, speed test, uh, 2S battery, um, 23 tooth pinion, 90 tooth spur on 2S. And it's going to be recorded uh, on a GPS. I can't remember the brand name. All right, guys, so what it's worth, I don't know, but I... Um, Tried it with the other gearing in there, and it still came up with 32 miles an hour. So apparently that's all this thing's going to do, and that's fine by me. Uh, I think I'll keep it at the 19 tooth pinion, 90 tooth spur. Uh, gives me plenty of torque. Good times. Thanks for watching Double D's RCs. We'll see you next time.